show that. It's easy to see that. The random process x from earlier is white set stationary. So it's white set stationary. Why? Because the expected value somehow make its mean depend on t. So we could add to it some function of t. In particular, let's say the random process v of t is equal to x of t plus t. So what's the expected value?
Which of these two criteria do you think that would violate? And how? So remember, um, Rx of 0 is the variance. So now that would be a function of time. So therefore, this could not possibly be a function of time difference alone. So it would be the second one. OK, so. Um, Wrapping it up a little bit here, uh, your takeaway message is that um, in order to, in order to figure out whether a process is wide sense stationary or not, you have to first calculate its mean, and then figure out whether the autocorrelation uh, is a function of only a time difference or not. Uh, so that's the the kind of question that you would be expected to answer with respect to this is. Uh, given a certain random process, is it stationary or not? In order, in order to find out, you would have to uh, do these two tests. Any questions on that? Okay, so starting next time, we will actually get into the meat of it. We now know enough to start actually um, to start actually deriving the optimal detector. So what we're going to do is we're going to propose a modulator a way to match binary symbols to functions, and then we're going to propose the optimal detector for those functions. We're going to see if we can uh, design the best possible linear filter. And as I mentioned a second ago, these properties are the ones we're going to need. We're going to need uh, stationarity, uh, and we're going to need some random process uh, theory to show what happens to the noise when it gets passed through the linear filter. Okay, we'll see you next week.